Albuquerque's going to get a run. Gemini is stalled. Albuquerque to the outside for the oh, lead. Oh, but Albuquerque's so wide, almost off the track. He goes to the inside. Oh, oh, hit. oh they hit. He's off the road. Off goes the 10. Oh, and into harm's way. And he hits the six. Oh, the seven's involved. Oh, oh my is goodness. Aiken. Aiken could be in the lead of this race. All three leaders are out. Did Aiken make it through? Can you believe what we just seen? And there she is. Penalty on Gemini, but it will not matter as the cars are destroyed and caution is out. That was ridiculous. Absolute chaos and unnecessary with still 18 and three quarter minutes remaining. Gemini just flat drove Albuquerque off the racetrack. The traffic was there. They were trying to get the upper hand on each other and it has ended in tears. It has ended with two wrecked race cars. At least two. I think the seven's out too, Kevin. He involved, got out yeah. airborne. Yeah. I think I saw four tires off the ground. This is going to be a gift to Jack Aitken and Nick Yellowly. And this thing could finish under yellow. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. We promised you a, uh, a thrilling finish, but we didn't expect it to be that chaotic. Yes, we've seen some desperate last lap lunges, but still with this amount of time to go, that was pretty desperate stuff. Oh, terrible. I mean, you, you, we talk about respect the bumps as Wayne Taylor shakes his head. You've got to respect your competitors here. He can't believe it. And they're talking within the Wayne Taylor with Andretti team. Let's relive those moments. Watch this develop. Just big commitment here. Albuquerque gets the run. Little nudge. It wasn't a. I mean, it was a subtle nudge, a little brush, but it was enough to send Albuquerque off the road and come back on and spearing it. The six car and the seven car getting wrapped up in it as well. It looked like. Now, when you see it from the helicopter shot, I've got to back yeah, up my comment yeah. a little bit because Jaminé could argue that he was trying to get around lap traffic when he ducked out. It was just enough of a tap, like right there. Yeah. It, it looks worse from that angle than it did from the air. The problem is there was a first swerve and then there was a second one. And it's the second one that put Albuquerque off. Yeah, he's trying to read the traffic though, so I'd give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. Oh, both the seven Both Penske Porsches, 963s. And Jack Aitken. <laughs> in the Cadillac, goes straight to the top. Watch on the board with Albuquerque. Here. He's around the outside, then suddenly has nowhere to go. Gemini's trying to figure out this traffic. Listen to this, Cal. Oof. Big hit there from Nazza when he came across the bow of the 10 machine. Albuquerque on full attack. He's going for it. He wants this win badly. Gemini try to figure out the traffic. It's just a subtle brush yeah. there, enough to send Philippe off the road. No control when he's in the dirt. Yeah, I agree with you, Cal. I want to give Gemini the benefit of the doubt there with the helicopter shot. That did not look intentional on the 10. No. It looked like he was just trying to find a way past the Ferrari. I don't know if he knew that the 10 was alongside. No, you don't. I mean, you're in the dark. You're dealing with the traffic. You can't have your eyes everywhere at that point. But certainly Albuquerque is upset with Jamine right there. I think for Nazar, he actually got nailed up the tail, and that kind of launched him into that car. Maybe he could have avoided them.